Trust me, trust me. What what are your what are your predictions for for tomorrow? What's the vibe? What are you saying? Uh, that's the thing. Every game so far, I've been saying it's not coming home. England are going to lose. <laughs> Nick's wrote, a hater. I, I wrote. I'm not a hater. I'm a realist. Like every time, like especially uh, Switzerland. I wrote out a whole play-by-play -play of what was going to happen. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Switzerland, we're going to score, I think, first. Uh, what? When did they score? I think I said that it was in, like, the... Bro, listen, just put your tweet up on screen, and whatever you said kind of happened. I'll just leave it as that. Bro, low-key, <laughs> I deleted it, man. I've, I've got it. You've got it? I think I've got a screenshot of it. You screenshotted it. I've got a screenshot. I got it in a WhatsApp because you WhatsApped it. Yeah, no, I WhatsApped it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I tweeted it as well. And then, I don't know, I just felt like a mug. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be a hater, man. Like, you know. Well, you see the thing, yeah. I was thinking about this. As much as we've been tactical and whatever, they got to the final, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking like... Look, uh, Bro, man, like England, like imagine if they win. Like obviously, like people think Gareth is a bit, is a bit slow. That takes he's this, he's that. Wait, um, obviously, like for Gareth's sake, like obviously everyone thinks he's a bit slow. He's not qualified. Boom, boom, boom. He's got into the most finals, bro. Hmm. So for his team that should be getting into like semi finals, yeah, you know, like, for his in 20 30 years, no one's gonna be like, you don't watch like docs or whatever from 1964 and going, Oh, yeah, the Bulgarians they, they should have won, they had a better team. Like, when 50 years passes, it's all about the stats, mm. we just need to know, did you win, you know, type of thing. So, that's the thing, for his sake, yeah, for his sake, oh. I hope he does. For Harry. Harry Kane's safe. I hope he does. Yeah, for, for and um, man, because yeah, I don't know. And my I prediction, know, like, I feel I have a theory. I predict that. Yeah, I predict that the way the story has gone, gone on. Do you know, what I'm saying the whole story of football. You know, it's been a beautiful story how everything's happened. Yeah, I predict. Let me let me get them see this batch. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Come yeah, on, I predict three lines. <laughs> I feel like everyone's had their moment or has had moments. We've seen a Mano moment. We've seen a Trent moment. Kane's had his moment. Bellingham, you know, even Watkins, Tony. Gay, he has had his moment being the best player of the tournament. Pickford saving a pen. Even the manager himself with his subs. So I feel like the way the story's going, there's, there's space for a few more, more, few more moments. In other words, in the final, I say a Declan Rice or a Kyle Walker go. In a final, Declan Rice or Kyle Walker, either that or the usual suspects will just end. So Bellingham would just score, Kane would just score and just have their ballon d'or. Or maybe Foden scores and we're like, yeah, that's why you should play Foden in a 10. But I just feel like the way the story is going, mm -hmm. there's one more moment to write the story. Like, we've that's seen the thing, what's one moment, again. but I think Spain have like two or three moments in them. Yes. No, no, when I mean one moment, I mean like if England win. Uh huh. The, the, oh, well, it'll be like a last minute the, by, okay, I, by Bellingham or whatever. And then which we would win wouldn't be like you lost signal. Say that again. You mean like a last minute Bellingham overhead kick or whatever? No, no, no. I, I'm more focused on the individual because it's a team sport, right? And what I mean is, as a team, they've all had their moments. That like Watkins only played the second game in the group stages, and then he comes in to score 
with one minute to go or 30 seconds to go in the semi-final. He hadn't played since the second group game, mm. like game two. He hadn't played since then. Do you know what I mean? And so it's like, that's what I mean by moments. I'm like more referring to like each individual have had has, has had their moment whereby it's like, you know, tick counted. Like Maino has played brilliant in the last two games. Everyone's like, yeah, he's a mainstay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Kane, you can say whatever he wants, his joint top scorer, you get me? Like, and he he scored a goal that got us to the next round, I believe. You know, when Bellingham did the overhead kick, Kane scored the next one. Um, Saka scoring that equaliser and then scoring his pen. He's had his moment. Tony coming on and doing the flick on that allowed us to win. Watkins, boom, you know, scoring scoring that goal in the in the semis. Um, Trent scoring his pen after all the like, oh yeah, Trent, you can't play midfield, you know, all that stuff. Everyone's had their moment. That's what I mean. Team game. Foden has played well in the last two games. Gareth himself making a right subs has had his moment. So I'm like, the way the story is going, I feel like there's one more moment, and it might just go to the Arsenal player. And I feel like, like imagine but as in England winning. One. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying if England wins, I'm not saying England's it'll be win. because of Declan or like Walker or like yeah, like like and someone else needs to have their moment. That it's like mm -hmm. when you look, you know, when they make docs five, ten years from now, mm -hmm. and they tell the story, it's always like, and everybody play their part in the groups. You know, it's just very like. Mm -hmm. But like you said, but, Spain today, it's they're... easy to get caught up in that because like. Bro, Spain got their own story, man. Let me in your mask, go two goals, 16 yeah, year old. Yeah, and England, <laughs> England I, I think everyone in England, every England fan has like um, a kind of like narrative trauma response. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Bro, yeah. It's bro, like if you, you know, you've bro, been in a relationship, on the a nail, yeah. relationship and you've been beaten on... by, you know, your partner over and over, it's like that thing, it's like Stockholm Syndrome or whatever, but, you know, Especially in the, I thought last Euros was the time I was like, it's coming home. We're going to, you know, with Italy, we're going to manage the game and then, you know, we're going to bring it home. Didn't happen. Obviously, uh, World Cup, France, you know, beat us or whatever in the semi. So now it's like, even now I'm trying not to get hyped. I'll get hyped after the final whistle is blown or the final penalty is I'll, kicked. I'll get, I'll get hyped. Win. I'll get hyped yeah but you know what you hit the nail on the head i like that whole concept of like trauma response bro yeah because for 58 years it's been the same shit over and over like you years. Know. huh since 1966 is that 58 58 yeah and every oh. year it's like oh you know this year when i was growing up i remember like every euro world cup people always had flags on their cars it was always yeah. like yeah, it's football season, but I feel like the past yeah. couple tournaments, I haven't really seen not, that too much. Not, not the past couple tournaments have been Gareth has brought that back. That's what I'm saying. You're getting it mixed up. The past mm, couple, yeah, but not not from the beginning. Like I didn't see any flags at the start of this tournament, and it's only nah, like this, no, only only this tournament. So I'm saying this tournament, it was like people are just like, but in the last three tournaments, bro, World Cup, Euros, like. Gareth brought that thing back. You can't take that from but him. Not so maybe no. maybe as a kid I, or when I was younger, I remember. Just when your child is different. You when your child is different. But I'll tell you for free, bro. In the last three tournaments, bro, mm. England have been, England fans have been on it. Gareth has done brilliant. But in this tournament, I agree with you. It's been a bit, even from the start. I mean, I, I remember I put a tweet Shouldn't even out. Be said, in it. Yeah, even from the start, I put a tweet out. I said, um, because I didn't get in at the start. I was like, there's an ego problem going on in this England squad and it's with the players and the managers and the manager. I just didn't feel like the cohesion was, I don't, I don't know. I just felt like maybe he brought too many new players, but then I respected him for that because if he brought Greedish and Rashford and all these guys, like they didn't have a good season. So you can't do that anymore. You feel me? But yeah, at the start of the tournament, I thought it was booky because like, similar to what you're saying, even the fans and all of that, I just, Saturn wasn't connecting, but when the final now we're connecting, now everything is connected. But well, we're lucky, well, that's the thing. We shouldn't even be we're lucky. We'll do the England dance. It's coming, coming on. It's coming. Football's coming on. So, what's the score? Let's do a bet. What's the score? Hold on. I'm going to have a little dance. <laughs> that's a guy's Southgate dance. Stop. 
Well, well, come on, England. Come on. What are we saying? What, what, what do you think the score would be? I think... Hmm. I think Spain are going to win in extra time. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I think Spain are going to score first. Oh, you're bad mind, cuz. You're bad mind, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ooh, that, hurt. Ooh. that hurt, yeah. I'm just being realistic. Nasty, man. Hey, I'm just being realistic. Like, I want England Ooh. to win, but I feel like, but maybe Southgate is playing some like 5D mental chess or whatever by faking people out by like playing shit or whatever or waiting for the other team to score first and then using that as momentum to then get an equalizer and win it. Maybe that's the way that they're playing it, but I feel like. They're not ready for Spain. Like Spain no, from the no get-go. Code. No code sets out their team like that, to be fair. So No, you know, but I'm giving Gareth the benefit of the doubt. Like he's like he's in my mind, I would like to believe that he's taken football management to a whole new level where it's like evil villain mentality thinking, where you're, you know, manipulating all the other managers to think that you're doing something when you're not. Like a Caesar or like some, you know, Napoleon or something making them yeah. go one way and then you hit them with like a pincer move. So it's like a fake wow. out thing. Like you play shit, you make them get the goal. They, you know, think, oh yeah, we're going to win it. They get complacent and then you hit him on a counter or a moment of brilliance. You equalize and then you get yeah. a last minute winner. <laughs> Maybe that's what <laughs> you're doing, but I feel like... Hey. hey, who knows? I mean, yeah, but I think like with Italy, when they won the Euros, from what I remember from game one, they were on it. Like you see them uh, doing the national anthem, they're all shouting. Yeah, from, from game, one, game one, they was losing their mind. They was on it. They were, yeah. Yeah, they were on it from game one, spot on. The only thing is that game was just a badly managed game, like from our, mm. from our side. But, um, yeah, no, that... sure. but I feel like there is momentum from if you start strong, you tend to end strong. So Spain from yeah. the beginning, they've been controlling games and they've had the harder route as well. Yeah, to be to be to be fair, so their confidence will be up. Yeah, and they'll look at England and be like, you know, we know these players, we know Kane, we know Batman, we know their style of play. So all we have to do is do what we've done for the past however many games, dismantle them, keep possession, tiki taka, whatever, all that kind of passing. You're, and, ba you're bad man. You're bad man, rude boy. You're bad man, rude boy. Why? <laughs> I don't even want to hear this. Like you're depressing, bro. I don't want to hear it. Like you're I'm actually. Really? I don't yeah. know. No, no. I know you. We all are here, but you're actually depressing. I... But like, when the, the, thing, when the I've game, been, I've been hurt too many times. Oh, like man. I don't want to get my hopes up and be like it's nah. coming home. And then when we lose, I'm depressed and I'm like. You gotta be like me. You gotta be like me. Yeah, we're biased, like, What's your I'm prediction, just... man? I'm just gonna enjoy the game of football, man. I'm going to I'm going to Sumzi's tomorrow. I'm gonna send you clips. Mm. I went to my mates. You know Sumzi, right? Good fella, good lad. Mm. Going to Sumzi's tomorrow, yeah? He just texts me. Let me read the text out in real time. Yo, for tomorrow, come from 6.30. Ordered some food, so definitely come with an appetite. Definitely come with an appetite. Address is... The address is... Beep, 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 beep. Bring a drink, see you tomorrow. Come on, England. And the English lad. So, mm. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to meet some mates have some pints you know i'll probably just be on my red wine but who knows i might have have some beer man the true english way mm -hmm. well probably be on a stella, mate. yeah but yeah it's a nice stella I'll, I'll, I'll probably be on a red to be fair but let's see i, I don't want to you know what i'm saying i hope they're all wearing their kits because you find out that not that many people have england kits right but uh, yeah so i'm, I'll trying, be wearing I'm this. trying to get my hesky jersey man yeah, I, I told you. I told you. You need to get Darius Vassell or David Nugent. <laughs> David Nugent, a hundred percent goal record. <laughs> one cap, one, one goal. Game, one goal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. who else has that? You know, no, you were no, talking no. about uh, percentages, and you know, yeah, uh, like in David history, Nugent. where people look back, people look at the stats, not how you get there. One game, one goal. Legend. If you had this bet, and the guy to score for your nation, David yeah. Nugent. But, no, because um, yeah. Kane doesn't have that. He doesn't score a goal in every every game. You get me. So um, I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. You get, but you know, just in, well, What's your good. prediction though? 
company. And then when, and for me, it's all about the pregame. I love the pregame when the, when the, when the Gary Neville and Co are like, yeah, Kane just needs to drop a bit more. You know, when the pundits are, oh, I love it. And if you can play through the line, oh, boy. <laughs> I love that. You get me? So That's when a bit no game, one watches. They put it on mute on the TV. Bro, people, the, when I said it to Sumzi, he was gassed because he loves it too. Like, bias, bias hates stuff. Like, he just wants to watch the game. I'm like, bro, it's all about the pre's. Mm. If you're going out on a night out with your mates, it's always better when you like, all meet up first and then you go out. Pre's. But right. anyway, when the game starts and the first 10 minutes go by, I'll, I, I can then predict. What you see here? This is my going out, man. I ain't been out in a while. This is like, this is my version of going out. Stuff like this is better than nightlife, clubbing, whatever mm -hmm. other people find interesting. For me, this is like, I'm going to be my mates, good food, good drinks, good looking people, good good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Good hearted people. Like the energy amongst his friends are really good, man. So, do you know what I'm saying? And then um, if we people? win, I have no idea. I have no idea. But ideally, I'd like to say 2-1 to England. Ideally. 2-1 to England, yeah. In or, or two, 90 minutes? Or 2-2 two, two, and then... 2-2 two, two, and then England win on pens. Mm. I win think on pens. if it goes to pens, I feel like England will win. Yeah, England will win pens. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think they've... Uh, you know, what's that thing that all the pundits say? They've, like, exercised the ghosts or whatever... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demons of the past, you know, Martin yeah. Tyler or whatever, all these guys. Yeah. It's like England were never good at pens, but I think now they've kind of cracked it. But I don't think it's going to go to pens. I think, you know, like I said, 2 1 Spain. Yeah, bad man, I don't want to hear it. Big man, I don't want to hear it. I don't, okay. don't like the air. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, is it? I'm on an up, like, it's yeah. Saturday. And all I'm doing the is thing just... is though, when I when I was when they were playing Switzerland, I was convinced I put bets down on this shit. I was like, England aren't winning. Switzerland are gonna win. It's gonna um I said it was gonna be one one in full time, it will go to pens and England will lose on pens, and England won. So it might be a good thing that I'm saying Spain are gonna win two one in extra time. Cause it's now like if I see England win, it will jinx it maybe. <laughs> You know if what? I say they're going to lose, it means they're now going to win 2-1, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Well, listen, bro. Game I'm playing, but... Fingers I'm, crossed. I'm, and... but I, I'm definitely going to put a cheeky bet on England to win. Okay. Dope. Dope. If England win, I'm, I'm meeting you in Central. It would be nice to, to link up in Central and just... It will be crazy, bro. The streets yeah. will be on. You probably bro. wouldn't be getting anywhere, bro. That's the thing. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing... The original plan was to go to the O2, but um, I didn't get tickets for that. So I found a few places that are showing it, but tickets are like running out really quick. But um, I mean, a lot of my mates, they're either working or they're not even in London um, or they're already doing things with other people. So I'm like trying to decide what to do and who to go with. But I definitely... Bro, you can always come link me. True, yeah, but I do want to yeah. be in an atmosphere like in a park. Like, say, to be honest, man, you be on that white boy stuff, man. You, you, you I'm, don't I'm pay 10 pounds to go to a venue and yeah. watch like 200 people. Bro, I want to pop it in beer, man. Like, if when that yeah. full council goes in England, win, I want to be in the middle of it, you know, with beer flying everywhere, people Sick. going crazy, like, you know. Oh. But I, Box, I, I, my, I wouldn't know, 22. huh? Now, carry on. Where does Sumzi live? Uh, Colin Lill. Oh, okay. Uh, you can get the Northern Stop. Line. Oh, Colin yeah. Colin Dale Station's closed. Is it? Yeah, for like a year or something or six months. You're joking? Nah, yeah, I saw it the other week when I was getting the tube. That's why I, that's why I love you, bro. Heads up. I, I'm going to check up on it. And if, if you are indeed right, then I'll have to... Um... Yeah, I'll just find a different route there. But, mm. I'm sure City Map is right. like up to date. Yeah, you could just do Swiss Cottage St. John's Wood and just catch a one one three, a young mm. one one three. Mm -hmm. But I, I need to um yeah, I need to see what I have a few people who are like a bit iffy about what they're doing, so I might just see what they're doing. But I do want to link up though after the game 
you know and obviously we're, we're doing this so why, why are we doing this why are we on a zoom right now Side note, by the way, if England lose, I may not leave Swimsy's yard for at least 48 hours because, you know, mm -hmm. they might have my head on a spike if Saka misses a pen. Yeah, true. <laughs> true, to be fair. <laughs> ah, it'll be sticky for us black black folks. Yeah, you know, exactly. black, black, It's going to feel like Alabama. Yeah. Alabama, A bunch of the, punk, hoked up England yeah. fans on the prowl to just fuck up some black guy. Yeah, like Alabama. Like, Alabama even though, even though you have an English show on, no, 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 they're gonna treat me like we Montgomery, mate. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, oh, okay, times. Actually, you know what? No. My prediction: England two oh. one, England two one, and added extra time. England are winning, oh. man. It's coming home. It's, it's bro. Listen, listen. That's my prediction, man. That's the attitude, you know, what I'm saying positivity spreads. They can feel it. The boys can feel yeah, it. When no, because that's what they were saying in the camp. They're like, oh, all the press, everyone's been negative and shit like that. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna be positive now and be like, God is on our side. Luck is on our side. We're gonna win it. We made it this far. There've been stumbles along the way, but England have pulled it out of the bag. So I right. think. I think Spain will open the scoring in the second half, and ah! England, and England will respond within ten minutes. It'll be one or it'll go to added extra time, and boom, in the hundred and fifth minute, uh, some England player is just going to bang it in. I leave I leave I leave all that all the technicalities to you, bro. Like you can you can paint that me. I, this is all I want to be doing. Yeah. Go! Yeah. <laughs> like for me, like that's like my rave. Like and then like they blow the whistle and I stick my head out of the balcony and I'm just you hear yeah, everyone going, shouting. <laughs> like yeah, going their cars guys, going. Do, 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 These guys are gonna come back heroes. Like we're gonna see real life heroes. Like, you, do you want to go to the uh, parade? Well, will it be tomorrow? No, it'll be like next week, right? Like the of open parade to... around like London. Yeah, bro. Like Pep I'll said, camp. we will be there. Yeah. <laughs> we will be there. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we will be there. Trust me, trust me. Nah. Yeah, like I, I, I need to, tonight, I need to sort out what I'm doing. Because also, side note as well, so like um I'm part Colombian, even though I don't look oh. it, I know my I'm white as fuck and I'm wearing an English shirt, you know. But um my little brother's in Colombia right now, and Colombia are playing in the final against Argent Ar Argentina. Oh. My Argentina. Name. Another place that's against black people. Please oh, Colombia yeah. win. What's that? Please said, Colombia please win, win, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jeez. Argentina hate black people, right? Bro, extinct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, look at the football team in Argentina. Yeah, read up on it if you don't know. If you're watching or you're listening, read mm -hmm. up on it. Yeah, like, they got black people extinct. Like, they don't... I, I don't even ever re remember and ever seen a black Argentine player or something. No, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it used to, but they, they all left or, you know... Think... That's why we saw Brazil. Brazil. Although, low-key, I prefer... I'm an Argentina supporter, man. I love Argentina. I know, you look Argentine. Look at you. you got blonde hair. You look like Lissandro Martinez. You look like Garnacho, <laughs> that man there. Garnacho. <laughs> yeah, you got blonde at the top. I'm sure you probably... Yeah. Oh, you do have 100 tats. Exactly. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's you. Let me get this. Go on. Yeah, put, put, put some under. Vamos. Oh, my God. Vamos. Lucky, my boy. Maradona, my hero. Yeah. My Great Brazil football. Oh man, bro, throw that crap away. <laughs> so basically, yeah, my little brother is going to be in Colombia when Colombia win Copa America, God willing, and I'll be in London, um, in England oh, when we win the Euro. So tomorrow could be a, a good night for both of us, man. So I'm gonna see what my brother's doing, and I want him to like send footage of him in Colombia. Celebrating the Colombian win, and then me in England celebrating the England win, you know, yeah. on each country's you know home soil. Brilliant, 
brilliant. That that would be such great, great content, man. Great content. So if you're listening, you're watching, you're seeing this live in the flesh, how the documentary will be made, you know, and then hopefully England can win. England, no food for lazy man. Oh. <laughs> drive, drive to the to the final. Lazy man. <laughs> no food for lazy man. <laughs> England, though, walk oh, hard. Hey, no king has gone. That's hard. <laughs> I haven't got that one of mine. Oh, your one's hard. No king has gone. You have that one? No, nah, I don't have no king has gone. Oh, that is oh hard. man. That, that's hard, man. No king has gone. That is so hard. Yeah. Go Well, God save the king. <laughs> God, don't save the king. Fuck the king. <laughs> yeah, man, to be fair. But, um... <laughs> But um, flipping. I was thinking, yeah. Um, shall we my my Nige kit to the parade? Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Don't do that, man. For your sake, for your own you life. Should, you should see your face. You thought about it. Nah, nah but to the parade if England win. Don't do that. Okay, shall we tomorrow? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Are you trying to get licked off? <laughs> Do you, there's nothing more dangerous on this earth than a coked up white man who's angry. Okay, let me tell you who's who's who, who's who's at, at the biggest risk tomorrow. The person that has any black player on their kit, Saka. Yeah. Whoever, if that player misses a golden chance, mm -hmm. or pen if it goes to pen, woo child, mm -hmm. woo, fucking hell, mate. Is he? Oh, mate, you wearing a Saka kit? Mm. Day one, mm -hmm. or one of the <clears throat> if you're Spanish and you're wearing the shirt of the player that scores the winner for Spain. Oh my god, bro! You're walking around London, you're finished. Bro, you know what? I like you. You're always onto something. Look at how you just did that. I, I don't even. I like. Hey. <laughs> I feel like you know that may be a bit more techy. <laughs> Walking on London with a Spain shirt on with like yeah, a... but 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 I don't think it's more techie because if that was the case, they would have would have heard stories of people boxing up the guy that like, wearing like Chiellini tees or whatever. Mm. I feel like that. Do you know I mean? Nah, they didn't care about that. We were just because if you if this coked up guy see like a guy like in a Saka tee or Sancho tee or like let's say like dumb head, he'll think that's Saka. But I'm gonna yes. have him. <laughs> he flew all the way from Germany yes. for half an hour. Saka's yeah. Saka's right here, mate. Yeah. That oh. is him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. No, it's it's real though. Like, you know, coked up Englishmen are like some of the most dangerous people in the world. They can be either your best friend or your worst enemy. Facts. On their mood. Facts. And that's why as well, the police have a big job on their hands on Sunday, you know. Massive, massive job. Well, if there's anything else you want to add, I want to go and have my uh, um. Well, I won't call it breakfast. Look at the time. I'm just trying to. Just, actually, I need to. I need to do some work today. You know, I'm doing my coaching badges, right? So I have got mm. some work to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To finish up. Finish off. You know, fast send. You know, this off to the FA. Who knows? I might be the next Gareth. <laughs> I need to get get to work. I need to um. I need to have some food. I haven't eaten today. It's already like five. Um, I need to take this off full day, get it ready for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that cut that plug, man, about that station being closed. Said station Thanks, closed. And um, if we do win, I would like to to meet up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just be in, co in conversation and contact tomorrow. Innit? Yeah. Let me know. let me know. No more P. Cassie, come on, guess, guess. I do have one thing to say. What? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Who won, baby? Added extra time. Cassie. No. Cassie, are you supporting England? Yes, I am. An England girl. Where's her shirt, mate? Where's her shirt, mate? Oops, I need to make one. Hey. <laughs> Look at that tongue. Oh, oh, Cassie. Cassie. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>